Hi, good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Kavita Shukla uh, from Amity University, Dubai. I head the admissions here and uh, I welcome you all to this webinar um, uh, on our engineering programs. Uh, Amity University, we started in 2011 and we have eight schools of discipline and engineering is our uh, most coveted uh, uh, discipline and uh, there is widespread interest in the engineering programs and uh, we have more than uh, more than 20 uh, 23 well equipped labs which support our engineering programs so today i'm joined with uh, uh, by uh, dr anand kumar he is the dean for engineering and architecture programs here at amity university dubai and uh, i would uh, he would take us through the the engineering programs, the prospects for an engineer and different branches that we offer and uh, a lot more things. And uh, please be alert and uh, talk, ask him as many questions as you can. And um, I welcome you, Dr. Anand. Uh, please take us through our engineering programs and the students are all waiting for you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Kavita, for the introduction. Just give me a second. Uh, and. Uh... Can you just uh, get the slides, Dr. Kavita, and just slide, go through yeah. the slides, please. Share them and then. Yes. Okay. There, your slides are there. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, okay. Uh, ho hopefully, the can you all, uh, can we just check, have a check if the they can see these slides? The sharing, has it yeah, happened? Yeah, they can, they can uh, see the slides. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, I would yeah. like, uh, first of all, I just want the first slide. We are talking about our industry partners. We have a broad spectrum and variety, of both de uh, breadth and depth of industry partners. Uh, we have uh, uh, the UA Dubai based uh, uh, RTA, which is a road transport authority. We have SAP, we have Fly Emirates, uh, we have uh, the uh, Emirates Aviation Services. Uh, we have the Dubai government agencies, uh, Emircom, among many other uh, lo local and international companies, which are our industry partners. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Um, and now we have, uh, in further, we have other industry partners as well. We have Ashok Leyland, we have Ducap, we have 3M, Thraya, and, uh, and also uh, Dubai uh, Precast. So we have a variety of uh, industry partners. Now, in the next uh, uh, slide, we will see the professional societies, which our students are part of, and we are, and also we have our faculty are part of these uh, professional societies as well, which in, includes the IEEE, which is for electrical electronics engineers, ASHRAE, which is more for the mechanical engineers, ASME is again, uh, uh, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, then we have for the civil engineers, ASCE, we have uh, the SAE uh, and uh, we have IET, which is uh, again for electrical electronics. So we have a variety of professional societies, which our students are part of, our faculty are part of, or some of these professional societies like IET also, uh, they also uh, accredit our programs. Now coming to the next picture, which is about our um, next slide, which is our satellite ground station. Uh, we have, uh, I think we are probably the uh, only university in the UAE uh, which has a ground station which tracks the uh, the satellites and uh, we are able to do that from our very campus. It's a remarkable achievement and I would also like to add that we are soon, Amity University is going to uh, launch its own um, uh, satellite, CubeSat, and uh, which we will uh, use to do some additional research we are in touch with the UAE Space Agency, and also we are in touch with the Indian Space Agency. Uh, next, I will uh, go to the uh, the next slide. Is in first, so that leads us into the first uh, program that we have in BTEC uh, Aerospace. It's a four-year program accredited by the Institute of Electron Electronics, uh, Institute of Engineering Technology, the agency IET, and then we have the Amity. Uh, we have I mentioned there that the Amity Dubai Satellite Ground Station was uh, commissioned on the 27th of May 2018. Um, and I've also mentioned that the CubeSat uh, is likely to be launched by the lot, last quarter of this year um, or maybe a little bit later, but it will be launched very likely end of this year. Um, then we also, in the uh, we have state-of-the-art labs 
uh, in aerospace engineering, which includes for aerodynamics, propulsion, aircraft structure. Uh, and we had a summer camp with Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center. Uh, the student and faculty have also jointly published. Uh, we have had our graduates uh, being getting jobs in Boeing India, in Emirates, in MSI Aerospace, Collins Aerospace. Uh, in, uh, they have gone to Nottingham University for higher studies. Uh, they have gone to Hokkaido University in Japan. Uh, they, we have also have our uh, students being employed at Air Asia, uh, Dubal. Uh, 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 they've gone to Manchester University for higher studies, as well as we have a student who's gone to Rice University in Houston, Texas, the USA. Um, and as we go along the next slide, as you see, this uh, talks about, is introduces us into the, um, the uh, era architecture program, we are a Bachelor of Architecture, where, we are where the students are extremely creative and innovative. And if you have that inclination to be creative and innovative, this is the right program for you. They create creative work, they explore spaces, visualize to build, optimize, and as well. Um, and uh, as you go to the subsequent uh, slide, which talks a little bit more about uh, the BTEC in architecture, it's a five-year program accredited by the Council of Architecture in India. Uh, they express the designs of varied topology in built environment from the concept stage to construction drawings. Uh, individual exposure to industry practices are also given by experts. Uh, they have si uh, site visits, uh, industry visits, peer group, team working, design talks, and, and discussion, which is all part of the pedagogy. Uh, students have intended, have interned and are working at uh, ARDP, a uh, design company uh, lab, uh, La Casa, among others. Uh, and it's amazing that uh, the, uh, the faculty of architecture and the students of Arch B B Bachelor of Architecture have combined together uh, to, uh, to submit a proposal called the Le Solarium, uh, and, uh, which is a, a, a project they submitted to the, uh, funded by the government of Dubai to the tune of 164,000 uh, dirhams, uh, which is an amazing achievement. And they are now working on it to produce a solution which will bring great, uh, uh, great fame to Amity Dubai as well as to uh, the government of UAE. Uh, our, grad, uh, our graduates in architecture have gone on, are, are, uh, are, is doing a master's at Polytechnic in Italy, uh, and also one of uh, Shah, another uh, graduate, uh, is doing his master's at Leeds University in UK. As we move to the next program, we uh, I think. None of you probably need an introduction to the picture which is in this slide. Uh, it is, uh, I would, with the, before I say the name, I'll say it's over 828 meters high, or uh, over 160 stories are there. It is the tallest building in the world, highest number of stories in the world, highest occupied floor in the world, highest outdoor observation deck in the world, elevator with the longest travel distance in the world, and that's the Burj Khalifa. And uh, that leads us to the BTEC in Civil Engineering program, which is a four-year program. Uh, they have uh, courses in structural engineering, construction materials, uh, geotechnical engineering, transportation engineering, water resources, environmental engineering, construction management. And they have well-equipped laboratories and state-of-the-art education tools. Uh, there are group-based and open-ended design projects. Uh, they have specialized skill training in STAD Pro, which are software tools, AutoCAD, ATABS, Revit architecture, uh, uh, Re Revit uh, structure, Primavera. Um, then uh, the there are student ex exchange programs with international uni universities in Turkey, Georgia, Malaysia, Singapore, South Africa, Bud Budapest, and Spain. Uh, the student chapters of professional bodies include the uh, Institution of Civil Engineers, ICE, American Society of Civil Engineers, ASCE, Chartered Institute of Building, CIOB. Uh, the, our graduates have, uh, are, some of them, uh, are, one of them is, that, is a chartered engineer at uh, Permestelisa Gartner, uh, and one student is doing a master's, a master of science in structural engineering, and Mohammed Hassan is at RTA, whereas Priyanka is a structural engineer. Um, as we come to the BTEC in computer science and engineering program, it's a, and I think a computer science probably no, needs no intro, introduction to anyone. It's a four-year program accredited by IET. Uh, they have very good labs. They, are, they were winners at uh, DEWA, which is the Dubai Electricity and Water Agent Authority. 
uh, hackathon, uh, they, and then they design logos and themes uh, for startups and Instagram blogs. They have developed apps for conferences. Graduates have worked in SAP and in Apple. They have, uh, they have uh, one of the students obtained a 15th rank in the GATE exam, which is the, which is the enter, entrance exam for, uh, for the IIT, among others, uh, other institutions. Uh, graduates have gone on to IIT Bombay, University of Glasgow in UK, Illinois Institute of Technology, USA, California Polytechnic State University in San, San Luis, University of California, Riverside for their masters. They have published Scopus Index papers in journals and conferences. Um, now, we, as we go into the next program, you can see something about power systems. Uh, and in the slide, you can see something about power electronics, uh, about electronics and instrumentation and control. That leads us to the uh, BTEC program, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, as well as the electronics and telecommunication. But here, I would like to just say that we are currently offering the electrical and electronics engineering program. We have offered it more recently. And it is currently running because of the fact there is a demand for it. Um, we have, they have, they do students do elective courses in cloud computing, emerging telecom courses, mobile application development, wireless network, CDMA, and 4G. And um, the, uh, EN, the ENT program, they are, they are doing analog communication, digital communication, uh, satellite communications, antenna wave propagation, and microwave engineering. Uh, uh, the electrical electronics engineering program is 15 credits, uh, 15 or 10 credits for the major project. Uh, they have obtained first place in the White Taxi Corporation Hackathon, first place in uh, Volkswagen Mobility Challenge, first place in Deva Conservation Award, where they developed an IoT uh, usage application. They obtained the first place uh, IBM call for Code Hackathon. It's an AI based disaster management platform. They obtained first place in RTA Hackathon, second place in UAE Hackathon, uh, where they developed a mobile app and IoT to monitor and to predict the health of trees. They took second place in Global Service uh, Jam, uh, con conducted by IN5. They took second place in the uh, Dubai Health Authority uh, ha Hackathon uh, and a Smart Wheelchair Project. Uh, so and, uh, they took third place in a Global Hackathon. They have done, uh, as you can see, in many of these competitions, they have taken the first place. And our students are very innovative. But I also would like to point out that Amity Dubai creates a wonderful environment to, for the innovation to flourish. The faculty are very supportive. They provide the opportunity. They provide the motivation, the encouragement. And, uh, and, the, and this is also true of the Amity Dubai administration. As we go on to the next program, which is the uh, three-year program in Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, uh, we have just graduated. We are on the verge of graduating the first cohort of, uh, of uh, the students from the Information Technology. They do courses in Python, IoT, data mining, data warehouse, e-commerce, and cybersecurity. Students have often done uh, certifications in IoT uh, in Introduction to Cybersecurity by Cisco. Uh, digital marketing by Google and essential of blockchain cognitive classes by IBM. Um, they also have done projects in smart dustbin. Uh, they have done uh, uh, smart uh, irrigation system. And they have done industry visits to Siemens and Beta IT. Students volunteer at Paralympics, Be My Eyes, Manzil Center, uh, Al -Nur, Al Nur Center, Expo Accessibility 2019. And they have published Seven, seven IEEE research papers. Um, and it's an, uh, what I would like you to say is that our students are, uh, have, uh, have, are technically sound, our graduates are technically sound, but they also uh, go into the extracurricular and extra and cultural activities and develop uh, leadership and broad-based educational skills. Um, as you can see, the next slide is uh, one of our students, Aisha Mansoor, who won 10,000 dirhams in a design competition. And uh, that refers to our Bachelor of uh, Interior Design student. And um, as you can see, the, uh, I would like to talk a little bit about, uh, you'll be amazed that a student, Maimuna Rashid, successfully filed a design patent for aircraft seating design. It presented the design, research design proposal at Aero Innovation Awards. So you see even our students of, uh, are filing for patents. So that shows the value and the magnitude of their capability and the environment that is available at Amity Dubai. 
and uh, they were one of them was a winner uh, of at Eureka competition and is a budding entrepreneur at Amity Incubation Center. Each graduate is well equipped with software skills of 3D's Max V-Ray rendering, Google SketchUp, AutoCAD, and Adobe Photoshop. Uh, uh, they have obtained key placements or jobs at uh, uh, at uh, 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 one of them is a designer at, at a studio HPA in Dubai, uh, and Muniba is a uh, design head at Trendline Interior Design Company. Uh, Sharon is, uh, is is a designer at Expedia Interior Design Company. And uh, uh, Mohammed uh, uh, went to University of Arts in Poland to do his higher education. A couple of students are studying master's programs at Harriet Watt in Dubai. Um, as we, uh, the next, uh, I think uh, the next program uh, is about is the MBA program, Master of Business Administration, but it is in construction project management. It's a two-year postgraduate uh, program designed for working professionals. Uh, we are just uh, on the verge of uh, graduating the second cohort uh, of students. Uh, program is designed for architecture, civil, electrical, and mechanical engineering undergraduates. Uh, they follow the syllabus of Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, uh, RICS, RICS. Uh, it's a glo glo globally renowned in the field of built environment. Uh, there, uh, an industrial advisory board is also being developed. Uh, there are uh, some information about a couple of graduates. One is Anamika, um, who, uh, who obtained an inter internship at a company called Artisa Building Materials. And then after on her graduation, she was absorbed into that company. And recently, she actually um, uh, gave a, a guest lecture for one of our uh, on one of the classes for our current students uh, in MBA construction project management. Kushagra is a manager at engineering consultants in Dubai. Uh, they, we also have uh, the BTEC and mechanical and automation engineering, which is uh, uh, and uh, well, now we have also the mechanical engineering program, which is a four-year program. Uh, it's a it's a it's a four-year program, and they have mix of applied mechanics, automation, automobile, computer-aided design, and uh, manufacturing, finite element analysis, and engineering science and uh, technology. Sweta won a, a innovation award at RTA, and uh, Jalish is th took third place in Manipal Hydrojet competition. And now I want to say that Jalish has also has won nine sports trophies during his undergraduate studies, uh, and that is. A remarkable thing. Not only they are in extracurricular activities, but they're also into sports, uh, uh, cultural activities, and a variety of activities. They develop broad-based skills, which helps them to be entrepreneurs, innovators. And uh, and I want to say I'm very proud of our engineering graduates and our engineering students. Uh, so some a couple of I'll talk a little bit. A couple of our graduates. One is Swaroop, who's pursuing Six Sigma and Industrial Automation and Control Certification from IIT Kharagpur. Uh, he is. Uh, he was the IMAC Amity Chapter Vice President, Amity Sports Fest Festival Students Coordinator. He has got four sports trophies. Faisal, Amir, Tanbir, Jalees, and Shweta, uh, they won the Inter-University IMAC Design Challenge at University of Bolton in UAE. Uh, they, uh, they created a vehicle to run from point A to point B and then return to point A. They won the, also the Best Design Award. Um, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, nanoscience, which is, uh, it, it kind of uh, reaches, it's an interdisciplinary area, and it, uh, it touches into different fields like computer science, material science, aerospace, civil, physics, mechanical engineering, and biomedical. Um, and we have a BTEC program in, that, that talks about our BTEC program in nanotechnology, well-equipped uh, synthesis and uh, characterization, they have uh, and characterization labs, uh, they have significant uh, student uh, research publications. Uh, they have also submitted a 50, and won an award for 50,000 from Export 2020, which is a government of Dubai agency. Uh, it was related to using Moringa nanoparticles for en enhancing the efficacy of nanofiltration. Sruti is a uh, graduated from this 2016 batch, uh, and uh, and she completed a Master of Science in Advanced Materials in Ulm University in Germany, master's thesis at Max Planck Institute. She did her master's thesis at Max Planck Institute of Polymer Research in Germany. She was a research intern at Merck KGA in Germany, and currently she's working as postgraduate intern at BASF in Germany. Um, Aslam uh, 
uh, from the 2017 batch completed uh, uh, master's in advanced chemical engineering at Monash University in Australia. Uh, he obtained his master's thesis in, uh, he did it at uh, Dalex Group at R&D on synthesizing water-based points with variable polymer con concentrations. Currently, he's working as research intern in Burger Paints in Australia. Uh, our, uh, we, a little bit about our BTEC in solar and alternate energy program. Uh, it is a four-year program, uh, solar system application. They do uh, solar systems and applications in material science, electrical, electronics courses, mechanical engineering courses as well. Uh, they, the software tools that they use and learn skills in uh, include PV cyst, Homer, helioscope, and, uh, and, uh, and that is, that is, these are some of the tools that they learn to use even in the undergraduate program. Uh, students have done internship at Eco, Eco Life Solar Energy Systems and Components Trading LLC in 2019. They took third place in Solar Decathlon Middle East uh, along, uh, along with the rest of the team from other programs in Betacool. Our graduates have gone to Florida State University in the USA and New York Institute of Technology in the USA. They have published many Scopus Index journal and conference papers and uh, book chapters. Uh, now, uh, this is uh, talking about our, uh, uh, our solar energy students. As you can see, uh, that uh, solar energy, uh, solar and alternate energy program involves drawing power from hydro, from geothermal energy, from wind energy, and biomass energy as well. And I include, of course, definitely the solar energy from the sun as well. Uh, and so, and then I would like to, uh, so that uh, uh, concludes my uh, presentation and thank you all for joining. Dr. Kavita, could you please take over? Thank you, Dr. Anand, for the wonderful presentation and taking us through the engineering programs. Now, uh, we are open to questions and uh, I would like to uh, uh, request each one of the uh, uh, attendees to please uh, start asking us whatever questions uh, regarding admissions. Uh, our admissions for uh, September 2020 are currently open and um, uh, you can apply online on our website and uh, otherwise uh, please leave your number with us so that we can give you a personal call. Is there anything else that you would like to ask our Dean? Uh, please feel free to write your question so that we can read it out and answer your question. Yeah. Let us see. Okay. Uh, we've started getting the questions. Uh, so the first question that, uh, let me just open uh, the questions uh, link uh, and, uh, okay. So let me read out the first questions. Okay. Just a minute. They be a. Uh, I just have to. Okay. Uh, let me just. Uh, okay. Now, yeah, I will be able to read your questions. I am interesting, uh, interested in engineering. How will I able to choose the perfect major? This is uh, Farha Malkavi. Sir, would you like to answer the perfect major? Yes, uh, I would like to say two things. One, uh, you should look at uh, uh, you should look at the your interest. That's a very important dimension to your interest. is a very very critical thing. Uh, what are you interested in? Uh, and if your passion is towards a certain field in uh, engineering, please do that. Second thing that I would give us a, a rec strong recommendation is that you uh, you should uh, uh, probably uh, look at uh, the job opportunities in the uh, of the program. And I think many of all the programs that we are offering have great job opportunities. And uh, thirdly, uh, I think you should pick. So first thing is the most important thing is where is your passion? Where's your passion? And then go for it. And I think that would be the overriding consideration. And of course, your job opportunities are, are, are for engineering has always been there. 
And I think if you take any of the programs that Amity is offering, it will provide you great, uh, you will have plenty of opportunities. Okay, wonderful. So um, I would also like to add here um, uh, that uh, you can uh, you can uh, read about a little bit about uh, uh, the various uh, uh, new jobs that are coming out and where the scientific research is moving. So that will give you a direction of how to uh, make the right choice. And uh, definitely, as uh, Sir said, that passion is most important. You should uh, find your passion and then choose the major. Okay, now um, Muhammad Shadab Rafiq, uh, Rafi, very important question you've asked, uh, Muhammad. As the CBSC grade 12 marks are not out yet, what will the scholarships be based on? Now, uh, uh, Muhammad, we have a very, very well structured scholarship program here at Amity University Dubai. And uh, uh, the categories of scholarships are very well mentioned on our website. And I will tell you in brief that uh, we offer merit scholarships. The merit scholarships are based completely on grade 12 marks. And whatever the CBSC uh, mark sheet will be issued, uh, your scholarship will be based on that mark sheet. We will take that mark sheet as the final, um, uh, final call for uh, scholarship. So uh, that will be one category of uh, uh, scholarship. Then all students who come from India get a standard Indian bursary. So uh, all students who are joining us, uh, who have finished their grade 12th in India, will get a 20% standard uh, uh, India bursary. Then there are sports uh, we uh, award and reward excellence in sports so sporting achievement if you have uh, ex uh, extraordinary sporting achievement please submit your uh, your records your certificates with us so we will um, we will make your case for you for the sporting scholarship so this is the way the scholarships will go uh, i hope i have answered your uh, your uh, question mohammed and uh, okay now um, uh, maria has asked that do students required ielts no uh, we don't require IELTS in Amity Dubai, so that I have answered you. Uh, okay, Alfred. Dr. Anand talked about bachelor's programs alone. I am done with my bachelor's and would like to study MSc Nanoscience or MSc Biomedical Engineering. Uh, Alfred, I believe that you are from Africa, yeah? So, um, unfortunately, we don't offer these programs here in Amity Dubai. So what you can do is uh, you can apply to any of our campuses in India where you might find something uh, related to your uh, your choices that you have written here. Okay, uh, Guru Preet. But uh, let, Guru, Dr. Kavita, Dr. Yeah. Kavita, let me just also answer the answer the question. And there are other yeah. programs that are uh, possible. We do have a master's in interior design. We have a master's. Uh, also in uh, MBA program in construction project management. These are alternatives as well. And, uh, uh, and uh, we also have masters in uh, forensic science. So in case forensic science is your interest, so uh, you can study so long as you have a bachelor's in science, BSc uh, in any of the subjects. Okay, so Alfred, I hope uh, we have answered your question. Now, uh, Guru Preet Kaur has asked that due to COVID-19, our class uh, grade uh, 12th result is withheld. So which basis you are giving admission? Now, Gurupreet, I just answered Mohammed also on this. Uh, uh, we will, uh, cut, uh, right now we are offering the, uh, we are issuing the conditional offer letter. The condition is that you should have your uh, grade 12th uh, um, uh, CBSC board mark sheet. And I am sure that uh, the uh, government of India and the education ministry is working towards uh, uh, bridging this gap and you will have a CBSC mark sheet which is issued by the board. And whichever mark sheet is being issued by the board, we will consider it as final. So uh, right now you can apply uh, based on your 10th uh, uh, mark sheet and we will issue the conditional offer letter. Then once you get your grade 12 mark sheet, then we will issue the confirmed offer letter. Okay, Krishna, Krishna Kathuria, how can I take admission if I have done a diploma in computer engineering instead of 10 plus 2 pattern? Okay, now uh, uh, Krishna, there is a way to uh, apply for admission even if you have a diploma. What you can do is you can send your uh, uh, you can send your certificates and your diploma along with the subjects that you have covered in your diploma, and we will see that what is your eligibility or where you can 
fit into our programs then we will uh, give you uh, an advice on that uh, okay, can i just take one question uh, krishna yeah. kejriwal has a question mm. uh, i am in class 11 from india so what should the study strategy be for the admissions in amity dubai for aerospace engineering my strong recommendation is that do a few small projects in your uh, grade uh, class 11 and class 12 and uh, develop your interests and your uh, and try to understand more about aerospace what it involves and then try and but then get uh, you should, your strategy should study the two projects and secondly what i suggest you do is that you take uh, do well and get a good grade good marks in your grade 12 board exam these are the two things yeah. strategies i would recommend for your uh, so that you can get admission to aerospace and um, one, also at the, yeah, one, please go ahead. Uh, so then uh, Nidhi, there is Nidhi, Nidhi. Uh, yeah there is one uh, question which is uh, uh, how many seats are available for BTEC computer science in Mumbai campus? Okay, Dinesh, you are from Mumbai. So um, uh, that exact number, I'll not be able to specify here. But if you can leave your phone number with us, uh, we will certainly um, make some counselor from the Mumbai campus call you and advise you um, uh, regarding this. Yeah. So uh, Dinesh, you can leave your number in the chat and we will give you a call. Okay, Krishna, we have answered your question. Okay, Farah, so <laughs> the, the me, perfect major. Okay, then. Uh, so let me pick up on Nidhi Agarwal. Let me pick her uh, pick her up her question. Uh, it says, what is the difference between computer engineering and computer science? Which one should I choose for a career in artificial intelligence? Uh, uh, my uh, my strong recommendation to you is that okay. One thing is that computer engineering is often is a little bit more hardware based, typically. Whereas computer science is more software based kind of, uh, it's a very loose distinction, but a for, probably a fairly clear distinction. And many times computer engineering is often uh, offered along with electrical or electronics uh, uh, departments in many uh, universities. So computer science is more the software related, uh, uh, not as much, although they will have some hardware like computer architecture, a few courses like that, but uh, they do more of software related courses. But, and so if you want to go for artificial intelligence, my recommendation that you choose computer science and engineering, which is offered at Amity in Dubai. So I think, uh, I think you should, uh, that will be a better option for you for the artificial intelligence, because today also artificial intelligence is, a lot of it is quite a bit is to do with uh, the so software or uh, related matters. Okay, let us look, take the next, uh, what's the okay. class and uh, class strength of uh, computer science in Amity? I will say that we have a, a, a our, uh, one of our most popular programs is computer science. So we do have a very large class in computer science. So, uh, but uh, yet it is not so big that uh, faculty cannot give individual attention to each student. Yeah, okay. Now, Omar Labib has a question that should you be very good in maths for aviation engineering? For, uh, I'm sure uh, Dr. Anand will support my answer that for all engineering programs, mathematics is very, very important and you should have a mathematical bent of mind. And uh, I hope I'm correct there, sir. Uh, yes, uh, the, Dr. Kavita, I think uh, mathematics is absolutely essential for uh, going into engineering. Uh, but I don't think at the same time, I'll also reassure you, you don't need to be afraid of math. Math is just kind of developing the right mindset and the right approach to it. Uh, you should look at mathematical problems as a problem solving. And engineers are fundamentally so, uh, solving problems in life, uh, in the society, in, the, in life. Uh, and uh, now they solve problems often that's related even to the, in the medical profession, in the various professions. So uh, you'll find that engineers primarily solve problems, which is what you do in math. Yeah, wonderful. So Mihiri, uh, Mihiri Pereira is there. So uh, uh, you've left, left your email ID. We will certainly send you all the details uh, by email. Uh, okay, now, um, okay. Uh, Alpesh Thakkar uh, wanted to know about the accreditation of Amity BTEC degree. If my son wanted to pursue master in international university, uh, is BTEC accepted? 
So now I'll just uh, say a few lines, then Dr. Anand will reply to you. But uh, you must have seen in the presentation that um, our dean gave that uh, where our students are work, uh, uh, studying worldwide, they have taken admission in uh, universities in US, in Monash University, which is one of the top ranked universities in the world. Uh, they are studying in Monash University, universities in Germany. So uh, all our BTEC degree programs are well accredited and they are recognized world over. And and um, uh, BTEC uh, from MIT will be accepted. You must have seen all, in all the slides. Yeah, Dr. Anand, you would like to yeah. add something? I'll, I'll just yeah. uh, I'll reconfirm and re-emphasize what you said. See, ultimately, US, I mean, the universities in Europe, US, or in Australia, they take students based on their past experience uh, with students from the same university. If they have had a good experience, then they go for, continue with them. And so the fact that they foreign universities have taken MIT grad, Dubai graduates uh, for higher education means that they have a measure of confidence. And so and I think uh, that is the primary criteria. Accreditation is not uh, as critical, although we do have many accreditations, but it is not as critical in the way uh, I myself have studied uh, in the US and I'm, that's why I can give you first hand information on such information. Um, and so please, I think you can relax and you can come here and I think going for higher studies to some other countries should not be a problem. Uh, Dr. Kavita, there's okay. a question by, uh, okay, uh, go ahead, please. Uh, Alpesh is asking again that what are the scholarship options for uh, Oman student who has done IB diploma? Now, Alpesh, uh, for GCC, uh, GCC students, GCC candidates, we have a standard GCC bursary. So uh, the GCC bursary entitles you uh, for a 20% discount on our fees. And uh, that bursary is um, applicable. Uh, it can be continued year after year on a maintenance policy of 6.5 CGPA. And uh, so that is the standard bursary that we give to all students coming from GCC countries. Yeah. So uh, Alpesh, I have I hope I've answered you there. Then Alpesh is also asking what is the class strength of CS in Amity? Uh, CS computer science engineering is one of our biggest batches because you know the way uh, the way computer science engineering is moving and uh, the world population will go from 7 billion to 9 billion and more and more people will be connected and it, they will be connected through, uh, through uh, uh, computers and internet and artificial intelligence and so there is a huge demand for computer science engineering. It's a very, very uh, classic course and uh, very much in demand. So the class strength is the highest in uh, CS. Now, uh, Nidhi has let asked. Me, uh, let me, let yeah. me just pick up one question. Maria has asked one question. Does the university yeah. offer co-op? Uh, what I will tell you is that uh, our students, uh, 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 we offer internship uh, over the summer and it's with credits. We have offered internships uh, and uh, as part of our program. Uh, and what I would also like to, and we also are very flexible in the way we deliver the programs. We support the students if they want to do internship uh, otherwise as well. So that is something that we have, many students do internship. And so uh, I think that is something that you can look forward to industry internship. You can look forward to that. Okay, now Ali Asghar Abbasi is asking that what is the process for reserving the seat after receiving the conditional offer letter? Uh, Ali, you can uh, pay the registration and application fee of 3255, uh, AD 3255 to reserve your seat but you should meet the eligibility criteria. Your final mark sheet or, uh, from the uh, CBSC board uh, or whatever is your qualifying exam uh, should have more than 60% in uh, physics, chemistry, mathematics. So that is uh, important that you should have the, uh, you should meet the eligibility criteria and you can reserve your seat by uh, paying the registration and application fee uh, on a conditional offer letter. Okay, Abdul Samad uh, is asking when should the student uh, waiting for results of uh, plus two CBSE apply for admission. Do you have a scholarship scheme? Now, uh, scholarship schemes are uh, in place and uh, you should start applying now. Um, if you have already not sent in your applications, because uh, in engineering we have limited seats and uh, 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 we would like you to reserve your seat and also the number of scholarships are uh, are limited. So you should come and uh, reserve your seat. You can uh, you should take the conditional offer letter 
okay uh, which exams are to be given for the admission in amity university now exams so the qualifying exam for admission to amity university dubai is your grade 12 for our ug programs and for masters programs it is the undergrad uh, uh, under graduation so that is the eligibility criteria and uh, that is the only yeah there is a question are there any age limits bihiri has a question are there any age limits for these programs age limits bihiri age, age limits uh, uh, there are uh, uh, no age limits uh, 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 for uh, undergrad programs your last uh, 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 classroom uh, should be uh, minimum 3 to 5 years within 3 to 5 years so we we do give uh, admission to students uh, uh, who wish to upgrade their uh, up, upgrade their qualification so age limits uh, not much but uh, you should be able to pick up uh, once you uh, where you have left yeah Uh, I have. I think Mohammed has a question. Uh, that what's yeah. the difference between electronics and communication engineering, and electrical and electronics engineering? My suggestion is that uh, you take electrical and electronics engineering, which is currently being offered at Amity Dubai. Uh, it gives you a flavor of electrical engineering, which is the traditional power electrical. Uh, there, you also get some fundamentals of electronics, and you will also be doing some electives in telecommunications. So it gives you a sufficiently broad-based. undergraduate degree and my recommendation is that you go for electrical and electronics engineer wonderful is it possible so, uh, i think swati swati is asking is it possible my name is swati sundaresan is it possible to opt for computer science engineering without cs in grade 12 and how easy is it to make it kavita can you answer that is there a share uh, does she have to do computer science in grade 12 uh, uh you are you possible to opt for computer science engineering without cs uh, yes uh, see our uh, qualifying uh, uh, eligibility criteria for uh, for computer science engineering or any type of engineering is either pcm or pcb so for example uh, in nanotechnology uh, the, your qualifying uh, subject should be physics chemistry and biology and for engineer other engineering programs like computer science engineering you should have pcm that is all it is not mandatory that uh, uh, if you have not taken computer science uh, or it uh, in your grade 12 you cannot uh, apply for computer science engineering and anyway we develop your ability in terms of programming skills from the first year onwards and so you have enough uh, opportunity within the four year program to learn the programming skills which you might not have learned in uh, in the grade 12 uh, also i think she has one more question is it possible to transfer middle of the four year program to any of the other in the other campus in india in case of unav- any unavoidable circumstances yes that is uh, that is 100% sure that uh, you can uh, transfer to any of our mit campuses uh, seamlessly um, uh, in india uh, in case you in case there is some contingency where you have to transfer to india yeah, the transfer is possible yes and as the, from an, uh, from a program point of view i want to assure you that the programs we offer in the dubai campus uh, uh, 99% of the programs i'm just not saying 100% but 99% of the programs are the same programs as offered in uh, in the parent campus in uttar pradesh so uh, they are the same programs so there should be no pro- there should be the transfer should be seamless okay uh, and then abdul abdul can you please send me details of the btech computer science and we will do that later we will send yeah. you the abdul we will send you the details of the btech computer process computer science program uh, okay nidhi agarwal also has uh, another question what is the scholarship available for students with predicted grades of 85% also can the sports scholarship be combined with academic scholarship <laughs> okay uh, now nidhi that is uh, something which i want to clarify that uh, no two scholarships can be combined uh, you can choose the whichever is the highest higher scholarship you can uh, take that one and all um, uh, so uh, so um, uh, predicted grades of 85% above uh, see our merit scholarship starts from 80% 80 to 88% you get a 25% uh, scholarship from 88 to 93% you get a 50% scholarship and 93% above you get a 100% scholarship so uh, that is the uh, scholarship merit scholarship uh, uh, slab so once you uh, your grades are uh, final grades are uh, released by the board uh, we can decide that whatever is your uh, scholarship yeah what you are entitled for 
Okay, so uh, Alpesh, uh, Alpesh is the question of scholarship also. Alpesh. Alpesh has what are the scholarship options for Oman students? That I have answered that uh, all GCC uh, students they get a 25 uh, 20% standard uh, GCC bursary. Um, okay, uh, what is the, the class? Is there most for, other than the 20%, uh, if kids are really good scorer, about 90%. Alpesh is asking. Uh, see, Alpesh, uh, for GCC, uh, our merit scholarships are open only for UAE students. Students who have studied in uh, UAE will get the, uh, are eligible for merit scholarships. For all other countries, uh, we have standard bursaries. So GCC has a 20% bursary, India has a 20% bursary. So that is what you are entitled for. Yeah. Then, then uh, Ibrahim has, a, he's doing his foundation at Amity University at the moment. What is the minimum yes. CGP I need to get confirmed admission for the BSc civil program? Uh, BTEC civil program, you should have a minimum CGP of 7.5. So uh, please uh, work hard and uh, get a good CGPA and uh, so that we are able to give you admission into our BTEC programs. Yeah. See, the, is the aerospace uh, engineering, does it have a future? It does have a future. As you yes. can see that uh, uh, you'll find the number of satellites being put into space. Uh, people yes. are exploring how to live in other planets. And so there is a constant interest in, uh, in that matter. And, and it's one of, the, uh, one of the agendas of the UAE government as well uh, to, be, to make a mark in this space. So you'll find that there is a constant interest. And then there are a lot of research satellites which are, which are put out by various universities and so you'll find that aerospace has a very broad future. Uh, see, the thing is that remember that aerospace uh, graduates can go into can go into aeronautical. They can probably go into the space industry. They can also pro they, can, they can also go into other spheres of interest. I mean, they can go into uh, areas where which is uh, semi mechanical because aerospace encompasses uh, electronics. It encompasses uh, mechanical. It encompasses uh, aeronautical. So you'll find that uh, aerospace has a mixture of variety of fields. So you actually the future jobs are can be found in any of these uh, interdisciplinary areas. Okay, so uh, Sneha, Sneha is asking what is the last date to apply? Sneha, you should up, uh, apply now. Our admissions for uh, September 2020 are currently open. And if you can leave your email, uh, we have your email ID. Uh, if you can leave your phone number, we can give you a direct call and we can advise you and uh, handhold you towards the admission process. And um, otherwise, you can go to our website, amateuruniversity.ae, and there is a, on the top, right there's a button called uh, apply now so you can uh, upload your application there and one of the counselors will uh, uh, contact you and uh, advise you further so Sneha, okay, one more question your, right yeah. mohammed has a question uh, what are the skills we need we should develop which are important for electrical and electronics engineering uh, what i would suggest is that if you are uh, you're talking about the skills you need before coming into the university uh, I'll tell you that the, the four-year program at Amity Dubai is more than adequate to uh, help you to develop those skills. But if you want to know what kind of skills that you need to develop before you come in, my suggestion is just to develop your interest, to develop your passion for the area. Just do simple electronics projects, uh, Arduino projects. I'm sure that a lot of high school students are doing it. And you can also do that, and that will help you to develop your passion and your interest in electrical electronics and then later when you come to the university you can learn all the theoretical basis and the practical aspects of the program as well okay so uh, krishna is again asking details of aerospace engineering and cyber crime we will send you the information relevant inf information whatever is required and uh, uh, does the uh, university offer coop a okay, quark, quark. Quark. I've already answered the question. So yeah, let me take another question. Answered. Yeah, I've already answered that. Co-op is internships. We have internships. Uh, Krishna, yeah. the, what is the difference between aerospace and aeronautical engineering? Aerospace has a little bit more emphasis on the uh, space science aspects or the uh, satellite aspects of of the uh, of uh, uh, whereas the aeronautical is more related to aeroplanes and uh, and uh, related to the aeronautical industry so it's so that's the distinction uh, what what which although both will have the other program 
but uh, uh, aerospace would have more of space science, space related, satellite related, aeronautical will be more to do with aeroplanes and the building of aeroplanes. And there are obviously differences because when you send a satellite into space, the, uh, there are differences uh, in the pressure, temperature and so on and so forth between what a plane fly faces and what the satellite faces. Okay, JK is has just joined us and he's asking that can I get a recording of this session, please? I missed the first half. Uh, okay, um, the recording will be sent, uh, the recording of the entire uh, proceedings and plus the presentation will be uh, mailed to you. So don't worry, Jay, uh, you will get the entire uh, recording of this, um, of this uh, webinar, yeah? What else? Uh, any other last questions? Because we are coming close to uh, coming uh, to the end of this uh, webinar. If you people can uh, leave your quest, uh, your phone numbers, that will be really uh, good. That, so that we can give you a call and uh, uh, email uh, email we have. So we will certainly uh, contact you on mail and advise you further about the examination process, uh, the uh, application process. Uh, Alfred is asking that what scholarships are available to African students. So African students, again, we give a 20% uh, bursary. So all students coming from Africa are entitled for a uh, 20% uh, uh, bursary. So that is what you will also get, Alfred. And um, uh, I hope we have answered all the questions. I will, I will uh, leave my... Uh, I will uh, leave my uh, email ID uh, so that you can write to us. If there is any further query that you have, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, write to me. And um, uh, if you have any any uh, query for Dr. Anand, we will uh, I will pass it on to Dr. Anand. Yeah. Okay. So uh, any other. Uh, uh, yeah, I think just a quick question. That thing is something about the placement for computer science. See, there are two ways as to uh, students get placement. Uh, one is uh, uh, they get a job immediately. Sometimes they get an internship and then a job. And sometimes uh, they do the internship, as, which is part of the program. And then uh, they get a job because of their performance in that internship as well. So there are various ways in which uh, jobs can be obtained for computer science as well as other programs. Okay, so any other final questions coming our way? Uh, you can write to me at kshukla at amityuniversity.ae. Okay, so we have uh, one last question which um, I did not answer till now for Dinesh. Is there any reservation for the wards of ex-servicemen in Mumbai campus? Uh, Dinesh, uh, we, will we will ask someone to give you a call so that uh, this clarity can be uh, brought in that uh, what scholarships are available for um, for uh, ex-servicemen uh, children. And uh, that is something which uh, we will not be able to answer here. And uh, OK, what else? Uh, Acha, student accommodation. Alpesh is asking about the student accommodation. Now, um, Alpesh, we have a very well-equipped uh, hostel within the campus. and. Uh, Mm, uh, we have two options there, uh, single occupancy and double occupancy. So uh, you can choose uh, to stay on the campus and we have a it has all the all the facilities and uh, uh, we have very good sporting facilities inside the campus and inside the hostel. So we have a um, Olympic size swimming pool. We have indoor gymnasium. Uh, we have uh, indoor uh, uh, basketball, badminton, and we have a running track, a football field. So all these amenities are open to all students who uh, take our uh, student accommodation okay now um, any question that we have um, uh, we have missed out or uh, uh, we, if you if you think of any other question that you forgot to yeah, ask there's a question there's a question do they have food inside the accommodation uh, a food a food option is there. We have a food court inside the university, and at an extra cost, you can uh, you can uh, uh, take the food, and uh, three times the food is available to you. And we have a open kitchen also inside. So if you wish to uh, cook something for yourself, so you can make use of that uh, kitchen also. Yeah. 
What is the uh, Jay has another question about the sorry somebody one of the other people has a scholarship test. What is the maximum amount scholarship uh, amount for a sports scholarship? What's the maximum amount? Uh, maximum amount for sports scholarship is twenty percent, and uh, uh, so uh, we can apply for sports scholarship. And if you have uh, national level certificates in sports, yeah. Yeah, there's also one Jay is asking repeatedly one question uh, that he's saying that. Do we we don't have any scholarship test, do we, or do we have a scholarship test? Ah, okay. The generally every year we do hold a scholarship test for engineering and technology and uh, school of uh, uh, architecture and design. But this year, because uh, suddenly the campuses uh, got closed, uh, the test was postponed. So in case the campus opens, uh, reopens again in time for the exam, we will take the exam, or we will uh, issue the other scholarships. Uh, um, uh, like merit, sports, uh, means, and uh, girls' scholarships. So all these scholarships you will still be eligible for. Yeah. What else? Uh, uh, we have more or less covered almost everything. And uh, uh, okay foundation program 7.5 cgpa and any other information that is fine so uh, my email id is k shukla at amityuniversity.ae k s h u k l a at uh, uh, amityuniversity.ae so you can write to me uh, if you have any further queries or you can reach out to us uh, on our uh, uh, through our website you can just click and leave your messages on the website uh, so that is uh, what it is uh, uh, Dr. Anand, any closing words that you would like to tell uh, all these engineering aspirants? Yes, uh, thank you all so much for joining today. We really appreciate it for taking time out and uh, joining us. And, uh, and it was our pleasure to kind of come to you with our uh, brief run, run, rundown on the programs that we have in offering. And, uh, and thank you for all your questions. And they were all very wonderful questions and I think very important questions. And I hope that we have done justice in answering your questions. And I believe that uh, it, we have made every effort to do it. And we, we of course, we can, you can still email us, email Dr. Kavita Shukla your questions and she'll be more than happy to answer you. And uh, But thank you so much for all your wonderful questions and your great participation today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Dr. Anand, for joining me on this webinar and uh, giving all that information about our engineering programs, achievements of our students. We are very proud of our students, and uh, they are uh, uh, they are studying uh, in uh, various campuses across the world, doing cutting edge research, uh, working in the industry, and uh, so uh, you know, becoming innovators, becoming entrepreneurs. Uh, one more thing, I would like to add. Uh, is uh, our um, uh, center for incubation we have an incubation center uh, at, within the university and we do incubate uh, ideas from our students so Arkab is one of our engineering students he opened a company called Arkab and uh, the, there is, it is on cap sharing and uh, something to do with transportation so uh, there are some uh, uh, seven eight companies that we have already incubated within our incubation center and uh, so that is also one of the opportunities that all our engineering program students have uh, so that is something about uh, our incubation center please go to our website you can see a video of our campus you can also watch our videos on youtube um, just type Amity University Dubai, you will, uh, we, uh, we have a virtual tour of the campus. All those who are sitting in India or other countries can visit our web website and take a look at our uh, beautiful $100 million campus, which is uh, uh, the best and the, the biggest private university campus here in UAE. Yeah. Uh, on this note, I will, uh, we will take your leave and uh, thank you so much for joining us and uh, uh, hope and wish uh, to see you at the campus very soon. Thank you so much.